Hi, thanks for coming to ImaginePower.com, and this is how you make glowing water. First off, you're just going to need a container or cup to hold your highlighter ink. You're going to need a razor blade to cut the plastic sheeting to get to the cotton. Uh, some pliers to take off the back cap, of course your highlighter, uh, and some gloves. Now, it doesn't matter what highlighter you use, um, as long as it's a yellow one, go ahead and pop off the back cap and that may take you a little bit or if you can't get it off go ahead and cut the back end off with the, with the knife but you're just trying to get the uh, cotton cylinder out now some people have cut the cylinder right now and took the cotton out and just started um, getting the ink out of it I like to use a fine stream of water um, really fine and then put the cup underneath and I like to work the the main concentration of the ink out right now while, this, while the plastic sheeting is still on. Of course you're going to need your black light and this comes in handy right now. Um, you, can, you can see how much ink is coming out and how much is left by using the black light. And of course as you can tell here if you didn't have the plastic gloves it would get all over your fingertips and stain your fingertips which doesn't really wash off very well so um, I think the gloves are a must. Let's go ahead and by squeezing the top of the cylinder and squeezing the bottom at the same time and then rotating it you can get quite a bit of the ink out but at some point here and I don't want to take too long as I'm doing this because I don't want the concentration of ink to be diluted too much right now um, I just go ahead and I get the razor blade and I had to cut a slit in the sheeting and peel away the cotton um, this depends on you whether you have a razor blade if you don't you gotta keep doing this process but as you can tell there's quite a bit of ink still in the center so what you do is go ahead and put that slit in there and you'd eventually get all the ink out if you didn't have the razor blade but you just peel away the plastic sheeting to where you reveal the cotton and this is the part where the black light comes in handy because you can tell that there's some ink behind that cotton right next to the plastic on the inside and by peeling away from the top and working down towards the center you can wash all that away really easy and it doesn't take very long at all once you separate the cotton from the sheeting you can just discard that plastic sheeting because you don't longer need it and the cotton still has some of the glow ink in it and just kind of work it into a ball and fill it up with a little water and squeezing it and it won't take you too long now to get it all out now this glow water will you could use it in about a gallon or more. Um, I wouldn't dilute it any more than that. I would get more highlighters for the bigger volume of water. But um, it, it'll last and as long as you have the water there. Now, as you can tell here, it's all out. And there's my concentration of highlighter ink. Now, make sure you have the black light on still so you can wash away all the drippings. Because if you didn't and that dried out, it would stain and, and be in there your bathroom. It could get on the wall, on the floor. So make sure you wash it all away right now, and uh, you're you're good to go. Um, just be careful with this highlighter ink; it does stain clothes and whatnot. And there um, are other colors you can use other than the yellow one. The green one works pretty good. Um, the orange works pretty good, depending on what company you get it from, and also the red. But there it is, guys. And thanks for coming to ImaginePower.com, and have fun.